this is the application. Um, come over here. You register your PS4. All you do is put in your account name. I mean, your like PSN and uh, name, and then you go to the remote play and put in the code, um, and it will register. Um, you can do your connection test. Um, internet over here where it says local national network and internet. Um, I'm not gonna click it, but it you can put your IP address and um, if you're on Wi-Fi in another area, so say if your PlayStation at home and it's on Wi-Fi and it's like at rest mode or it's on, and you're at a McDonald's or your some a family member's house on Wi-Fi, you can you can connect and you can play, but you only can use your touch controls at this moment because you cannot connect your DualShock 4 to your phone. So in that case. It is more of a, if you take your console somewhere and you don't have a TV, you can connect the Wi-Fi to your PS4, and um, you can use your phone as the screen, like, you know, the Vita. Um, so right now I have, a, I have it at 30 frames per second at um, um, the 360 uh, resolution. P, um, keep access ratio. Zoom is only for iPad if you had this on iPad. Um, on screen control, I turned it off because I am using my DualShock controller. I have it connected onto a dummy account, and that way I'm able to play my regular account mirrored on the screen. Um, just like uh, for Android, it was called uh, the remote uh, remote play. It, yeah, it was remote play on Android, but you had to get it uh, cracked because it was only for Sony Xperia phones. And then, you know, you can pause interruption. You can play your music while you're playing your games. And then um, I, and you can connect your uh, headphones up to the iPhone to listen to the, the game. Or you can connect to the, to the uh, controller and you can listen to the game and talk to your friends. Um, and um, I have a PlayStation camera so I can just speak out loud and they can hear me. And... You can actually hear me through the recording. So we're going to look at 30 frames per second and see how that looks. Connecting. <laughs> and we're playing Battlefield 4. And you see it just looks very blurry. Very blurry. And 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 for some games that run at 30 frames per second, um, it runs that runs smooth. So you can dumb it down. But like this game runs at 60 frames per second. So it doesn't feel good it's jittery hold on i want to show you um, it feels really jittery just because the game is supposed to run at a higher frames per second but i mean you can play the game like this <coughs> literally on the go if you didn't have that good enough wi-fi connection or whatever um, it's going to be very much lag uh, when you uh, do that over any of the enemy has set the um, you know, th this is working. This is doable. This is like PlayStation 2 quality. The game looks good. I like the movie. So this looks very stretched. It looks lost. So, let me, um, get you a fair I'm going to put it at 60 frames per second and go right back in. Oh. Yeah, it takes a second for the PlayStation 2. Okay. Alright, so now we're at 60 frames per second. Still at 360 uh, p Very, uh, still washed out, but oh, the game is so much smoother. Everything is kind of so much smoother. At like the right crisp frame rate. You definitely can play the game like that. That's there's no input lag at all. I can play the game so well. Let's back out. Let's go to. Let's beef it up a little bit. I'm going to go back to 360 and 30 FPS at 540. 
Ooh. And I got one of those You went in the pocket grab the kill. But now you see that it looks more um, clear. Just a little bit more clear. Um, not HD, no. Mortal Lines are standard definition. Um, 360 is standard definition. Well, 360, 540 is de standard definition. This is really standard, standard. 360 is just low quality at that. Um, game looks better. You, know, you can see the detail is growing a little bit better. You know, it's not as washed out. You know, you know from a distance, the buildings, they do look washed out. Um, you know, that does definitely look washed out. It's going to be this is like 30 frames per second, so it's jittery. You can, you can just notice it. Um, let's see if that makes it look even Smooth, buttery. Let's go to 720p. I'm not even gonna bother to go to 30 frames per second. And I know I just got it. There's a shooting. Now the game is pretty. Draw distance. Pretty. The buildings look better. Not pretty significant. This is the older game. Right? So, you know, you're definitely going to get the best of quality. But, I mean, look at it. Just look at it. I'm actually playing a PlayStation 4 game at 720p, 60 frames per second, which is technically almost HD. Um, in a technical range. Oh my god. Um, this is so good. um on my phone, you know. Um I could be in bed playing my video game, not disturbing any money. I can be in a corner and just you know, play the play stuff, I can plug it up to, you know, go somewhere, connect it to the lock office, and now I'm on the I don't have to connect to the lock office in the facility. And, um, and play my games in my phone. You know, I'm not having to connect up to an HD source. All I have to do is plug the power cable in. And voila, I have. I can jump in and out of game.